What's going on guys and welcome to a new big playthrough and uh, this is Super Mario RPG, the remake for the Nintendo Switch. Now um, I would avoid no under normal circumstances, this was a year ago, so I would under normal circumstances avoid playing something this recent, but like... If the original was an over 30, a nearly 30 year old game, I guess I can give this remake about some plus. This is not only the definitive version of Super Mario RPG in my opinion, it is one of the best remakes to a Nintendo game I have ever played, let's just say. Like, they did a really good job with modernizing this one in particular. Now, I'm actually gonna skip the intro because you hear, you see this at the beginning of the game, but um, anyway, so, this was my practice playthrough, and both of my first playthrough and my practice playthrough, we're looking at like 10 hours of gameplay, so even though this is an RPG, I don't think this will be as long as, say, some of my prior playthroughs are going to be, but, um, yeah, we'll give the start. We'll we'll pick a new game. Start with the beginning, so current, any, current, yeah. We already have a, now there is a difficulty level. There is Breezy, which are battles are easier in this mode. Choose this if you want to quickly progress the story or bat normal, which are battles are balanced normally in this mode. Play this one and join challenge. However, playing the normal difficulty is not really any different than playing the original in my opinion. Plus I am a veteran player of the original. Like even with this game, like being less than a year old, I wanted to do Super Mario RPG since the very beginning, so we'll do this on normal. Like, I was already planning a playthrough of this game even when the remake came out. It's just, I've enjoyed the hell out of the remake, let's just say. But, uh, yeah, the reason I skipped the uh, intro cutscene is because you see this being the game. Plus, it's good they skipped it in the remake. Because the intro cutscene does go on a little long, let's just say. But, um, you see Princess look, you see Peach looking at her flowers, and Bowser is. Taking her away. It starts off the typical Bowser kidnaps Peach plot. However, one thing I like about this game is that they'll take certain twists with, let's just say, um, I guess I can keep this spoiler free, but to be fair, this is the original is a nearly 30 year old game, but um, I'm on the fence whether or not to uh, spoil this one greatly. So we're all the way at Bowser's castle, or Bowser's keep it is known as in this game. So yeah, basically, um, yeah, you're gonna see like um, added modernized visuals. So, of course, graphics don't typically, hit, but there are a lot of reasons I find this to be the definitive version. And you're gonna start seeing this the first time, the first battle scene in the game. Like, uh, I think I'll get into a battle um, now. First of all, the game starts off in Bowser's Keep. So, I guess one thing I don't like about this port compared to the original is that there's no run button. There was a run button in the original, but there's no run button here. But you do move considerably fast, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. Now we're gonna get into a battle. Now, um, basically, A's, the A button basically attacks, X uses items, Y uses specials, and B to defend. So, um, one thing you're not supposed to know about this time, this point in the game, is timed hits. And like, um. Basically, not only that, but like, um, we get XP and we did in the original, but, um, basically time hits is, um, they make it considerably easier to time a lot of these hits in the remake because, um, you see that exclamation point that's up there. That's when you hit the button to do the time, to do the commands. That did not, it, you didn't, you were not supposed to know about time hits at all at this point in the game in the original. Like, you're supposed to read the tutorials, but, um, yeah, we're, we're unarmed. Basically, um, this game was developed by Square Enix, who did the Final Fantasy games, and there are a lot of, like, parallels that you can draw between this and Final Fantasy, let's just say. There's even a, fi a Final Fantasy-oriented boss in this game, which we'll get to later, let's just say. Anyway, so we made it to the end of Bowser's Castle, and... Peach is all the way up there. Alrighty, so we're fighting Bowser. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. Alright, so we are actually not supposed to attack Bowser. He has infinite HP. So what we're going to do is we have to attack the cha chain that's attached to his chandelier. 
There's gonna be a, uh, yeah, there's gonna be a, a timing for blocking attacks. And I guess we can show off the jump right here. And that instantly took out Bowser. What was that sound? No! Is the chain reaction hanging there, chandelier? Chandelier. I'm holding on to the skin of your teeth. Whatever you do, don't let go. Ah! And Bowser starts falling, and, um, coming, Mario! <laughs> Bowser's, I like a one-hit to see, does Mario, uh, fight Mario, fight. I like a one-hit as he just kills Mario chandelier. Finish you, and we're falling. Mwahaha! Did you think I was just gonna give her to ya? You're always in my way. This is it, I'm gonna take out Mario. Ugh, foiled again. And Mario can jump all the way that height. This game makes several jokes about the height of Mario's jump. Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Eh? Mario, the whole castle's shaking. This is when the first of the twists are going to start taking. And look at that giant sword. Go straight in Bowser's castle. That is Super Mario RPG. Don't worry, we're nowhere near beating this, even though we've... Because, uh, let's just say... Mario gets thrown from Bowser's castle. And we're in Mario's pad, and Toad's waiting for us. Hey Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to, pick, to Princess, pick up Princess Peach and she's a bit late. Anyway, so we're at Mario's Keep, so let's see what Toad's up to. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario, so where is she? Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her after you always do? Mario, I forgot something important. If you ain't knocked out, you wake up in the last place you saved. But guess what? On this adventure, you save the Mario where you go in between areas. They'll save all the time, so it comes worse. So basically, this remake added an auto save feature, and there's also the normal save feature on top of the auto save feature. I'm not gonna save during recordings because I have that l l I have that ground rule: do not save during recordings. Plus, this game auto saves, so it's not a too big deal if I get a game over. Plus. To be fair, I can beat the original without dying a single time, so... And we're after, we go to Bowser's Keep. Look at that. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. We have big plans in this first step in the sim. If it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. Let's see you deal with this. And we can no longer go back to Bowser's Cape. And uh, if we try going back to Bowser's Cape, I wonder if it, um... Yeah, we cannot go back to Bowser's Cape, so uh, we have to go back to Mario's Pad to see what we can do there. And Toad's not there. What are you doing in my house? You're back so soon, did you forget something? No, what happened then?
The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out. It's wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Anyway, so we have to, um... Get hit in the head! Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reducing your HP levels. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items is often to you out. We got a mushroom. Whereas, like, when you ever want to use an item to get, get some HP back, press X. Eat a mushroom game, you boost whenever you're feeling tired. I don't know why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Ah, I remember. I can't annoy that mushroom boy storm at monsters. I barely made it back in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about action commands? Uh, I already explained to them, but let's just read the tutorial anyway. You're not supposed to know them at the beginning of the game, but uh, you press A and um, basically when the... Um, Press A with perfect timing. Now, when you get action commands in the remake, also, I'll explain this more when we get into the next area, but, um, because this is just the tutorial, but, um, and also, one thing that's added in the remake, the thing that's added in the remake is the gauge feature. Each time you know that action this action commands, fills up low. When the action goes reaches 100%, the, the better your enemies watch out is good for more of that. The more success I can do, the higher the number will go. If you can do two more times, there are some buffs will start to hit again. For you, more they also feel faster than power walls inside. Now, the gauge timing basically are, um, is basically, um, the more successful attacks you do, you'll get certain, some characters will get certain stat boosts. So, that's one thing that got added in the remake that was not in the original, let's just say. So, um, yeah, it's always best to get, to grind some gauge, to grind some uh, gauge attacks, um, because it's uh, get reset. If you miss it to I'm attack, basically it resets to zero. But um, now we're gonna go to Mushroom Way. Now I might as well show off all these enemies. These are the Goomba. These are the typical Goombas. Now um, now one thing that was added in the remake was um, if you get if you get a certain if you time your action commands a certain way, you can damage other enemies in battle that you could not in the original. Let's just say. But um. Let me see if I can mean by that. So, um, so yeah, it's always best in the, it's, I'd say it's best in this remake to get into as many battles as possible to fill your gauge up, let's just say, because let's just say Mario's gauge is basically like action. So like, um, you'll get a big boost. Um, well, I actually missed right there, but, um, our gauge goes up, but, um, Every time you hit certain milestones, like 3, 5, 10, 20, uh, your action gods will go up, let's just say. But, um... I want to get into as many battles as possible, mainly because, um, to fill your gods, because... If it gets to 100, you can fit, if you can perform certain moves, let's just say. And after you've done your, uh, action grand in front of my time, the, uh... Let's just say the explanation points no longer gonna appear because you'll you you should be able to get used from muscle memory at least, or if you play the original. Yeah, I, I do believe battles can go by a lot quicker in the remake compared to the original. That's why many of them, if I a lot of them, I might not even cut out. Like let's just say I do believe battles go by a lot quicker in the remake, and we got our action gauge up to a hundred, but um. I'll show off mainly every. I'll try to show off as many as I can. There's, let's just say, with different characters we get in different combinations, there are certain action dodges, let's just say. Now, um, there's also weaknesses certain enemies have. The paratroopers are weak to jump, so, um. Yeah, let's just say that is. They're weak to jump. So, um. One thing they add in this remake is a catalog and a weakness system. Now, I actually. My action dodges are set, but either way, we gotta level up. This is our first of the level up, so um, we reached level two, and um, now um, I have a different way of leveling up than I do the original. When I used to play the original, I used to do like um, the biggest stat boost you would get. However, um, the way I would recommend doing it in the remake is that you want to level up its stat that's the highest, whether it's physical or magic. So Mario has higher physical, so I'd recommend it just focusing on physical with Mario. Ma your goal with Mario in the remake is more to be a physical attacker, especially when we get certain items later on. Because look at how much more damage you're gonna do now we're leveled up. Yeah, they did 42 damage. You want Mario, your goal with Mario in the remake to be more in 
a physical attacker, let's just say. Not exactly sure if we're gonna get a second level up in between the boss, but um... Yeah, you wanna pay attention to which character is more a physical or special attacker, and you wanna level up those attacks, those stats. I'd like to be able to get to level three because at level three, Mario learned the new move, but um, who knows? I'm just gonna build up my gauge a little bit, but um, Mario should even take out these paratroopers in one hit. Yeah, that took out, that was like 16 damage. All right, so there's just a couple of items I'd like to get that require fire, fighting the screamer. I'm surprised I haven't had to cut out a single battle yet. They go by a lot quicker in the remake, let's just say. Because if I, let's be honest, if I were playing the original, this would be like part two, but um, yeah, we have Pick Me Up, which those are five fallen party members. We don't have any party members yet, but we'll get, eventually get some later on. We have Flower, and let's see, Toad from a, a paratrooper. Oh shit. I don't have any uh, magic, but um, any flower points. Flower point, the more flower points you have, the more like moves you can do, like jump. And um, we have Flower Tab, which which basically lets us uh, increase our uh, flower, flower by 12. And these are gonna be the last of the new enemies. Just, um, I wanna use these to mainly, uh, you can't fight this lack dude, but you can fight its spinies. Now, I think these spies, I forget what they have a weakness. So they have a weakness to thunder, but we don't have any thunder attacks yet, let's just say. Now, um, there's another one right here. I don't, I guess I don't have to cut out too many battles, because let's just say they go by, they go by a lot quicker in the remake. I've already established this like three other times, but, um... I want to see if I can get my uh, attack gauge up to 20 at least. It doesn't really make too much of a difference from like the special moves. Yeah, that's, that's a 20 gauge right there. I'd recommend both grinding for gauge and grinding for uh, XP, but um... Anyway, so these are the Hammer Brothers. Hey, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like ya. Mario, well, you better be careful if you get a mean streak. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. Anyway, so these are the Hammer Brothers. They will, uh, basically, um... I think they have a weakness to jump, but, um... They will, uh, basically do normal hammer attacks, and they'll do a move called Hammer Time, will basically, um... They'll do a ha move called Hammer Time, and, uh... Yeah, I lost my gauge combo right there, but, um... And they use, they use a move called Valor Up, which basically lowers their attack, but, uh, let's use Toad Assist. It's basically Mario's special gauge, but, um... In Eggshell. Which basically boosts our defense, so, um... We'll resist one enemy attack, so we won't, we'll basically resist this attack, so, uh... Not, it's not that bad. There's certain, there's better attack gauges we can get later in the game, let's just say. Okay, I don't, I'm not good at the jump, I'm still not good with the jump command in the remake. There we go. And that was beat, that was the Hammer Brothers defeated. We're already almost with another level up, actually. We got a flower jar. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. I should be able to ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hey, do you know what this is? It's the hammer brother. It's got the hammer brother's insignia on it. Un sense the answer when you want this is. We got the hammer. So basically, we can now equip weapons. So look at how much our attack's gonna go up. But uh, this is our journal. This is our monster list. The, believe it or not, the remake has a catalog, but the, we fought these in Bowser's Castle. We fought Bowser. Clear. There's the Goomba. There's the Paratroopa. There's the Spiky, and there's the Hammer Bros. So, part of the catalog is also, is also finding their weaknesses. Apparently, they're not weak to jumps. Well, some of these enemies don't even have weaknesses, let's just say. But, uh, also, on top of that, let's get, use the Flower Jar, and uh, let's also equip the Hammer. 
Our attack goes from 24 to 34, so, um... And now we are in, um... In a second. Now we're in Mushroom Kingdom, so, um... I think now is a good part to leave it on this part of Sumar RPG. So next time of Sumar RPG, we are going to be doing... We're going to be going to confront the Chancellor. See you guys then.